Hey guys, Blindmatcher here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. Now, before I continue onward, I'm going to go ahead and use this money to buy the Iron Shield. And hopefully I will have enough for the armor on my way back. And we'll go ahead and... Actually, I still have some stuff on me that I could have sold. Oh, well. We'll just put that shield in the bag for now. And I'm going to put my medicinal herbs in my inventory. So that I can actually use them in battle if I need to. We are about to enter the final area for Chapter 1. Hooray! Alright, so let's go. We'll start by heading west. Yeah, west. Go up to the edge of the water and use the Teleria. Ragnar puts on the Teleria and soars high into the air. Now you actually start at the top of the tower, which is an alright thing. Come on, you little brat! Ah, you're scary! Let me go! Now we get to see a monster carrying a kid away. Alright. Now, there's a few treasure chests in here. One in particular that you really want to get. Well. Alright, we got a new enemy here, Bodkin Archer. They can do more damage than the things we've been fighting, but... Aside from the fact that they can cast buff, they're not too threatening. If you let them hang around long enough and buff up, it could become a really long fight. Keeley's probably going to defend most of the time and heal himself when he needs to, but... Don't really worry about Healy. He can take care of himself. I really like the music in this game. Alright! Ragnar reached level 8. His HP increased by 8, and his strength increased by another 3. I'm getting some pretty good level ups with Ragnar here. Alright, so we got a new enemy here, the Splatty Punk. Uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, they cast Sap. That makes them pretty threatening because they can get through your awesome armor. Healy, you better heal yourself, boy. Atta boy. I'm getting enough gold from these battles that I should have enough for the armor after I get done in here. And even though this is the final area in Chapter 1, you still want to spend your money on the best equipment you possibly can because, first of all, why not? I mean, you're going to lose all that money that you don't spend anyways. Second off, surely you want them to have the best equipment that they can when you get them back when the entire party comes together in chapter 5. Spoilers! Not really much of a spoiler. I'm sure most everyone knows that eventually every character you play as is going to come together into one party. So yeah, there's not really too bad monsters in this tower, although there are some monsters that are pretty tough. Um... I think there's actually a monster called a bantam in this tower. It's like a giant flying chicken. I think that guy, if it's in here, that guy does a lot of damage. Oh, uh, what a jerk. So, if they cast buff, it's going to end up taking an extra turn to kill them. Fun. Ah! 
Hello there, Ragnar. I ended up here after I came across that old well. The monsters in this tour are as strong as you like. Now I'm wishing I'd let that Healy character I met in the well tag along with me. Oh, that's him there with you now, is it no? You're a lucky man, Ragnar McRyan. Indeed. I kinda wish there was party chat in this game. Supposedly, in the Japanese version, there was party chat, but they took it out for the North American version. Which sucks. Oh well. Let's see, I believe there's a treasure chest in here. Yay! 640 gold! Hurrah! That will go towards the Iron Armor Fund. And a seed of strength. Nice. And. Oh, yeah, the door is in the front. Another scale shield. It's good to sell, I guess. Let's see, I think this is the first floor, and there should be treasure chests up here. Alright, the Cautery Sword. This is the best weapon available in Chapter 1. And it's actually a really good weapon, period. Um, I'll actually end up using it well into Chapter 5. It will be a long, long time before I get something better. I think it may actually be the best sword you can actually buy with money. Ah, here we go. Bantam weights. These are the guys I was talking about. Now, we have the cautery sword, which we can use as an item. I'm only going to do this in groups from now on, since apparently it only attacks groups. It basically casts, I think, Frizz? Or maybe it's Sizz. I'm not sure. Basically the lowest level uh, fire attack magic that works on a group. In the old games, I think it would be called... Uh, Bang or something like that? I don't know. Seed of Resilience, nice. I'm going to save up my seeds until chapter 5. Now, if you go down here, you can get a free heal. I didn't really need it, but hey, you know, free healing. Never wanted to turn that down. Alright, we got a new enemy, the Blinkster. You definitely want to take this guy out fast, because crack is kind of deadly. Luckily, Healy seems to be immune to it. Unfortunately for you, even with the Cautery Sword, he'll take more than one hit. Luckily, he only has enough MP to cast Crack once. So, that's nice. The Splatterpunk's just there to annoy you. At level 8, with the equipment I've got, I should be well enough for the next floor. R Ragnar! I didn't have much time left. There's something I need to tell ye. Somewhere in the world, the Lord of the Underworld is reawakening. But if what that monster says is true, there's also a hero somewhere out there who will be able to take him on. If they find him while he's still a bairn, he will not be strong enough to defend himself. That's what they're plotting. So you must protect their kitties, Ragnar. Didn't let them t come to any harm. I think now he's dead. No, oh, no. I guess when I come back, he'll be dead. Alright. Stop talking to me. Die already. Alright. Here we go. Ah! Help! Help! I'm scared! Help, mister! These horrible monsters are bullying me and asking if I'm some kind of hero. Ha! I can hardly believe my eye. A foolish human has managed to fight his way here. But you had a wasted journey. I've got an eye like a hawk. You'll never sneak the kid out of here with me around. 
Alright, when you're ready for a boss fight, welcome to talk to this guy. We are only interested in children. It is a child who will become the meddlesome hero. Fully grown humans are of no consequence. But of course, we cannot possibly let you out of here alive. Not now that you've discovered our secret location. Prepare to die, soldier! Alright, this boss fight isn't too difficult, but you definitely want to take out the Winky first. Because, I mean, with a name like Winky, you know he's just going to annoy you. Plus, he dies in, like, a hit or two. He's got pink eye! Now, Sorrow's Pawn can actually do quite a bit of damage to you. But you've got both Healy there to heal you and plenty of medicinal herbs in stock. Healy seems to be immune to Sizz. Hey! Healy actually healed me. Healy's awesome. I take back what I said about him earlier. So basically, this is how our first boss fight will go. Just keep, uh, keep pressure on him. And he'll go down before you know it. I mean, if Healy has MP, he could probably just mindlessly mash A throughout this fight. Because Healy will keep you alive, and Healy seems to be unaffected by all this guy's spells. Got a critical hit there, I killed him, but, I mean, if I didn't, he would have died in, like, two more turns, probably. And that is the chapter boss. How can I have allowed a mere human to defeat me? But I am not afraid. The other monsters will find the hero and suck his breath from him before he can stand in our way. Then you humans will finally be sacrificed to our lord. I will be awaiting your arrival. In the underworld! Urgh. And they're dead. Yay! Thanks for saving us, mister! Now we can finally be away home! I reckon we can get out of here if we jump off near the top of the tur. So that means we have to climb back up the tower. And I think I will save that trek for the next episode. So, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.